Hey everyone, it's Peter here from LearnTech and in today's video I'm going to show you how to build an interactive video using Lumi. Lumi is a free and open source desktop application that allows you to create, edit, view and share interactive content using the H5P content types. If you would like more information on Lumi and H5P, the links to the official sites will be down in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to see more videos like this in the future. Let's begin. Okay, so here we are in the Lumi application. First, we want to open the H5P editor and then create a new H5P. Under the Edit tab, we can see the list of H5P content types. If you have not yet installed the content type, you will see a Get button. If you have installed the interactive video, you will see a Details button. After selecting the Get or the Details button, you are taken to the Details page, where you can view a description, a demo, and some sample images along with the license. If you have not yet installed, you will see an Install button. But since we have already done that, we will click the Use button, which you will see after installation. Now we can create our interactive video. We start by giving it a title. We can then add our video. Videos can be added either from a file on your computer, or you can paste a URL link to a YouTube video or another source. I am going to upload a video from file. Multiple videos can be added at different qualities for various devices. Further down, we can adjust additional settings. But for now, we will leave these as default. Let's go to step two, where we will add interactions. At the top of our video, you can see a list of interactions that can be added to the video. We have labels, text, tables, links, images, statements, single choice question set, multiple choice question set, true or false question, fill in the blanks, drag and drop, mark the words, drag text, crossroads, navigation hotspot, and additional questionnaires or free text questions. Let's first add some text. The text window will open. Here we can set the display time from when we want the text to appear and when we want it to disappear. We will set the begin time to 10 seconds and we will leave the end time at 10 seconds, as we are going to pause the video to display this content. We can then choose to display the content as a clickable button or a static poster. We will leave it as a clickable button. We will provide the button with a label called Learn More. Then we will add some text into the text field. Once we are happy with our settings, we can click the Done button. Back on the video, if we jump on the timeline to 10 seconds, there is a dot on the timeline where the interaction will be displayed. We can then select the button on the video and drag it to a more suitable location. If we need to go back and edit, we can simply double click or we can select and click edit. Let's go ahead and add more content to our video. We will add a label and we will set the start time to 20 seconds and the end time to 25 seconds. 
we will not pause the video as this is a short piece of content. Under the label, we will add the content and then click done. If we forward to 20 seconds on the timeline, we can see the label that we added. Again, we can click and drag to a more suitable location. Next, let's add an image. We can either forward on the timeline to the timestamp we want to place the image, or we can select the content type and then set the timing. We will adjust the timing to display this image for 5 seconds. Again, we are not pausing the video, and we will display this image as a poster. We have the option to display this image as a button on smaller screens, so we will enable that. Next, we can add our image. We will then need to provide some alternative text. We can then click Done. Back on the video, we can select the image and move it to a suitable location, and if needed, resize the image. Let's add a true or false question. We will set the time at 40 seconds, and we will set the end time to 40 seconds, and pause the video. We will display as a poster. We will set the title to quick question. We will then add the question. Mark the correct answer as true or false. Then click done. If we jump ahead on the timeline to our question, select the box and move it to a suitable location and resize as needed. The last step in this creation process is the summary task. This is an optional test that the learner can take at the end of the video. We will give it a title of summary. We will leave the introduction text as default. Then we will add our statements. Each statement is an option, with the first statement being the correct answer. To add additional statements, click the Add Statement button. If you want to add more questions, you can simply click Add Statements. But for now, we will leave it as 1. We can then set a score range. I will just use this example provided. First, we will add a new range, and then another. For the first range, it will be 0 to 20%, with a feedback of bad score. For the second one, it will be 21 to 91%, with an average score. The third one will auto-populate the 92 to 100%, and we can add the feedback of great score. We can then set the time at which we want to display the summary. We will leave it at the default 3 seconds before the video ends. Once we are happy with our interactions, we can either go back to step 2 and step 1, and change if needed, otherwise we can click the View tab. Let's preview our interactive video.
As the video summary at the end was optional and I chose not to answer, I am given a final results page with one question answered correctly. If I want to go back and answer the question, I can simply close the screen and open the summary and then choose the correct answer. If I click the star at the end of the timeline, I can review the summary page, which has updated to include both questions. Once we are happy with the final interactive video, we can go to File, Export, and then export this file as an HTML file or a SCORM package to upload onto your learner management system. That's it. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, give it a like and if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. We upload weekly videos from everything from tips and tricks to reviews and discussions from the world of e-learning technology. So if this is up your alley, why not click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you never miss out. Thanks for watching and I will see you in a future video.